Good afternoon, EVC family, and thank you for joining us on social media and through YouTube. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and viewing our sermon on Sunday. We had 1,700 views on our, our message that went out on Sunday. That is awesome. You guys have been sharing the message, and we have a new opportunity to share what God is doing at EVC, the meeting place, through the power of social media. So thank you so much for doing that. God has been so good in this season. Thank you to Nova Church who has been helping us out digitally. They allowed us to use the recording studio. We do have new gear that's going to be coming in that's going to allow us to live stream from this location. And as that comes in, we'll make you aware of it. You'll see as we start to post what's going to be taking place at EBC, the meeting place. Currently, we have no programs taking place at our building uh, per the health authority. It doesn't allow us to do that right now. But we do have a lot of online things taking place. So we have videos that are being posted for kids uh, via Life Church resources. And we also have our Word on Wednesday teaching. So Pastor Lennett and myself are going to be doing a Word on Wednesday teaching. We have this week and next week. Pastor Lennett's going to be doing Power in the Name of Jesus. That is this week. And you can join our watch party on Facebook uh, for Power in the Name of Jesus at 6.30 on Wednesday. And we will also send the link out via email. If you're unable to join us for the watch party, you can watch uh, our study via YouTube at a later time when you are available. Uh, so just thank you so much for, for partnering with us through digital media. Uh, thank you for partnering with our e-giving using giving at ebcmeet.com. That's giving at ebcmeet.com for e-transfers. And you also can send a check-in if you'd like to 633 Pockwalk Road, Upper Hammonds Plains, and I'll make sure that the address is posted on this video as well. If that's something that you would uh, prefer, you can watch our channel. We're hoping to have some, surpri some surprises uh, as we grow in social media, as you've been patient with us. The quality of our videos is slowly improving and it will only improve as new gear comes in. So keep watching our videos. Maybe Pastor Leonard will want to put out an exercise video for you to do at home. I'll, I'll check in with him on that. Uh, but before I, I end this video, I just want to share a scripture with you. This is from 2 Kings chapter 6, when Elisha and, and his servant are dealing with the Arameans. This is one of Pastor Leonard's favorite portions of scripture, as well as one of mine. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 15, it says, When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. I want to read that again. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, O Lord, open his eyes so he may see. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw the hills full of horses, horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. My prayer for you in this season is just that you would be encouraged that while this is Big, big change. We've never been through a season like this before since I believe like 1918 since we've ever dealt with a pandemic like this. This is big change for families. There are, have been job losses, there's sickness, there's people that are living in a lot of fear because of what we're faced with during this time. I would just encourage you that we as believers can open our eyes to see that we have a God that is looking out for us and that in this season, He somehow will be glorified and I just would ask that you'd be faithful to pray, pray for your neighbor, stay connected through social media, through the phone, continue to pray that this virus will be pushed back and that all the efforts that are taking place uh, would really benefit us and that we'd be able to get back to life as normal, as quickly as possible. Pray for our health authorities and our government and our politicians, that they would know what to do, that they would have godly wisdom that would help them in the decision-making process. But my encouragement to you today is that you would look and see that the God who is with you is so much more than what we're facing right now, that he would open our eyes, that he would open our hearts and show us that he is with us today and he's going to go with us even in a difficult season. God bless. We love you. We're praying for you. And we look forward to connecting with you again online and in the future, of course, in person. God bless.